November 12th, 2020, Time Index, Pacific Standard Time, at 6.55 p.m., Weaver, John C., Roseman, California. To Chris Cuomo and Dr. Sanjay Gupta, CNN, Atlanta, Georgia, and New York, CNN. Gentlemen, what's going on? Yeah, the uh, mask is on because in my apartment complex in Roseman, California, which is right next to Edwards Air Force Base, we have the COVID going on. We've actually had the COVID going on since, I believe, May or June. And last, let's see, last week we got the uh, notifications that if we have to go outside, we have to wear these damn things. I'm inside. I have a window open for ventilation at this point. Do you think I'm going to take any chances at this point? Mr. Cuomo, you've been asking questions concerning about this if America is actually going to be following through, and you had a lot of health expert, experts telling us what's simple at this point, but what you haven't noticed, even though you've seen the numbers go up, have you ever asked the question enough? Why? Well, you probably already got the answer already because people don't care. I'm taking this damn thing off. I am like one of those people out there who have to wear this thing on a constant basis outside. When I'm walking my dog, when I'm going to the store, it has to be worn. Because, like a lot of us, we have health conditions. We're open door, we're open season. Mr. Gorman, I've been doing videos like crazy over this past year, trying to talk about this and other issues that's been driving me nuts. And YouTube seems to be the only place for me to air out my own damn grievances at this point without going thermonuclear on everybody. But on some occasions, I have to go thermonuclear because people aren't getting the message. And if they are getting the message, it goes in one ear out the other ear. It's easy enough to tell people to carry this thing on a constant basis, a good supply of this damn thing, or at least having a cloth over your face. It's easy enough to tell them that. The problem is they're not willing enough to do it. And the reason why that is because we're stubborn-headed. We're stubborn, we're pig-headed. We've already got it into our own brainwashed heads that it is un-American to have a mask on. It is un-American to wear even this piece of plastic here. It's bad enough. It is bad enough. When I have to start carrying, as you see, I'm morbidly oobies. I'll say that again, morbidly obese. Diet and exercise, well, let's see what your fear driving you crazy these days. It's kind of hard to get exercise these days. So, I try to stay limited on my food left and right. But when I have to carry a whole industry full of different colored masks of different sorts just to protect my face so I don't get this damn virus left and right, you think people could actually... Um, understand how to wear these damn things? Even to have a handkerchief tying around the face, maybe, to protect just a small chance of population, or even their own health? No, I'm sorry. You want people to protect yourself like that. You want people to be wearing these things all the time. Time. Chris, i got to tell you, and yes, I'm using your first name, sir, and doctor, the 1900s were a hell of a lot different times in our generation right now and oh so many ways you have to put things in the context at this point over here people's attitudes towards what's going on they were told according to what we keep learning in history books or actually in different history sources that we weren't taught in history classes at all growing up gentlemen i'm 50 i'm maybe 55 next january i'm 54 and yet all my years of going through the Los Angeles Unified School District from the time of kindergarten all the way through the time of graduation in 1985, we had not ever discussed about the Pandora, about the, the uh, Spanish flu that took over during World War I. Everybody was so politically focused concerning about the bombs and everything else going on. What's happening in Europe? We failed to take into account, as we keep learning through history at this point, and correct me if I'm wrong. That's why comment sections are made in different video sections left and right of YouTube. 
but correct me if I'm wrong, that we hadn't publicized the damn flu enough. Now, we have great-grandparents, if they're still alive, and grandparents, if they're still alive, telling our generations what happened back then, alerting us that we're doing the same mistakes like they did back then, except we have technology. Excuse me. We had technology. We got medicine. We have social media, which is hooked up to technology. We have mass communications, which is also hooked up to technology. We have science, which is barely running at the, for, at the 1900s. Still, they were able to beat back the smallpox, weren't they? And they were fighting like crazy for two of the three years, roughly, regarding a damn flu influenza epidemic. Not this COVID-19 stuff. Nothing certainly like this, but it was certainly deadly enough. We managed to figure things out, how to congregate outside. We managed to have outside halls made of tents. We made all sorts of things to survive through. But you think, in our current generation, gentlemen, that we're actually able to do this? Look at the numbers. We have to strong arm. We have to use, not the stick, we have to use a club on their heads. We're not using carrots. We try to use carrots. Now we've got to strong arm people. We have to be authoritative at this point. And people are going to be bellyaching left and right because they are so damn used to their luxury, their freedom, their industry is the way they are. A lot of states are dying because of this damn thing, because of the political decisions we keep making left and right, but also because of the health concerns. And the people are just aren't getting the damn thing. Because they are causing their own damn misery, and we can't even tell it enough of them. We're telling them, goes on one ear, they're laughing at our asses. And yet some of those are still the ones crying their asses off in a ventilator machine. Some of them on the way to becoming the morgue. And the rest of them are trying to tell everyone else, but everyone else doesn't listen. We need our, and we are getting it, our collective asses royally kicked. Reamed if necessary. But we're getting used to the trauma and the pain. We're still saying it's fake news and it could be, it could be survived. Well, yeah, I can't survive, but we actually take care of the necessities of wearing these damn things all the frickin' time. And I have to wear this thing every time. In my apartment complex in Roseman, California, we're, hell, we're feet away from Edwards Air Force Base. This apartment complex here. I've got, I don't know how many cases I've got in this place. One is too many. And people don't wear these damn things. They don't pisses me off. I have to because I get the health conditions and I don't want to die. But I sure as hell don't want to pass it off to these ass idiots. Yeah, I was going to say the other word, but and yeah, I'm pissed off about this. I'm really pissed off about it. But why they're not the other? Where are the three monkeys around here, boys and girls? We can't see. We can't speak. We can't hear. At the fourth, we can't feel. At the fifth, we can't think. Yeah, pissed. I don't know who the hell to be pissed at. Myself for not following it, following it thoroughly for uh, following it thoroughly as best as I can. I'm pissed at my neighbors at this point over here for not even giving a hoot at this point over here. And if they happen to get the damn bug, I'm next door to a neighbor. Don't do it. I've got neighbors above me. Don't do it as much. I got neighbors around me who don't do it at all. I've got people with health conditions, senior citizens also with health conditions. I said before, I myself have multiple health conditions at this point over here. Obesity, diabetes, possible heart disease that I haven't been diagnosed yet, but I've got family history regarding it. Not to mention cancer, but I haven't been diagnosed about that one either. God. Bad enough, I have to deal with personal issues and it's, it's mental health issues my own way. 
I've already been crippled by a damn job accident at this point over here, not to mention having mental health demons running through my head at this point over here, so I'm not there joining one of the many people who are killing themselves, one way or another, trying to earn a damn dime if we've actually got any coin circulation. Yeah, call this a rager, major rage venting at this point over here for people being absolutely stupid. In fact, this one's also going out on YouTube at this point over here as a premiere. Because it pisses me off when people don't pay attention to what's going on. The numbers should be telling them, but they don't believe in the damn numbers. They don't believe in the people who are trying to tell them, this damn thing kills. It does not discriminate. It doesn't care if you're a Republican or Democrat. Oh, I'm sorry. If you're a Trumpster or if you're a libtard. Or a libtard. Dealing with the social media I've been dealing with these days. Facebook base, I've, I've got several groups I'm with. One of them happens to deal with this damn town. Pure Trumpsters. Maybe a few isolated libtards. Oh, I'm sorry, libtards. They all voted for the pipsqueak of Republicans. And not to mention the big loudmouth in the office who still avoids everything. And yet he got the damn bug. He got a cocktail. He thinks he's Superman. I'm expecting his downfall any second now. I'm expecting that damn bug to come around and bite him in the ass. And I won't lose any sleep over it either. I won't be laughing about it. I'll be shaking my head in pure disgust. Because I'll be telling him, why didn't you listen, you big dumb son of a... You've heard a lot of angry rhetoric from a lot of people. I'd rather not start using that kind of vernacular, except to say that I am angry at what's going on these days. And I wish to God we had listened earlier. I wish to God we had done something earlier. But we did. We have to struggle right now as it is. And we have to get used to the idea and the fact that this damn bug ain't going to go away for years. And either we adapt with our, all of our resources that we can and try to keep our industries alive. And we have to keep pushing our elected legislatures, not to mention our governors and anybody, and the health officials in each state of trying to keep this, the country and their own individual economies going. We have to keep working on them, because if we don't, sign us off, Chris. Dr. Gupta might as well write up a whole stack of death certificates at this point. That's how terrified I am. When I have to send a letter like this over to you guys, let alone to everybody else at the same time. I didn't start doing my video rendering and raving until I found out things happening in January and February, and there goes my YouTube sub. People think I'm mad. Well, maybe I am. I'm angry. I may be mad and a lunatic. Maybe that's true. I've had enough mental illnesses as it is. I'll show you something. Okay? I'll show you something. Take a look, guys. My family. My mental health illness at this point. Anxiety, depression, PTSD, grief. Well before the COVID hit. Mom back in 2013, Dave back in 2018. They would never would have survived the COVID. I haven't had the damn thing yet. I mourn their loss a great deal. Upper shelf, I've got dogs and my family up there. My own memorial. You don't think it's personal for me? I don't want to be part of that collection. I got no one else to be put me in that damn collection. Yeah, gentlemen, I'm scared. I'm a damn college student going over to a community college out here in Lancaster, California. Five years. Trying to take it easy on myself without killing myself in the process. And two classes at a time, I'm struggling as it is. Even with the demons I've got going on right now as it is. COVID didn't make it any simpler. We're doing Zoom classes left and right. In fact, I've got two or three more weeks left before class is over. Then i got to start worrying about the spring. And we're still doing what we're doing right now. Online. I miss, I miss, gentlemen, physical contact. Even the closeness of a human being, the feel of their 
emanations, not to mention the body warmth, not to mention a simple handshake. A hug. A hug. I miss that a great deal. I miss it from them more often. But from another human being who understands what the hell's going on, I just say, come here. Without even worrying about a damn COVID situation at this point. With the social distancing we've got going on right now, and people don't even understand or appreciate this damn thing, we can't even do the simple things anymore. We can't shake hands. We can't hug. For a man and a woman, or a man and a man, or a woman and a woman, they can't kiss. Unless they know their partner, or whoever, is COVID-free. So what do we have to do? Keep going over to the doctor's office every single day, get tested? Just to make sure we're COVID-free? Or is it every single week, every single month? We're going to have to do that. My God! Do you know what would happen if people actually did that for a change? They actually would cooperate. God forbid our country should actually do that. God forbid anybody else who keeps denying about the vaccinations or even about this damn bug, they should actually do that. What kind of country in the world are we living in that would actually cooperate when they actually will start wearing masks like this? Or at least these. What kind of a strange world are you guys living in in the first place? Because my reality right now is we don't do that kind of thing. No, 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 no. Because we are strong, we are Americans, we think we know better. Just remember, Dr. Gupta, my name is John Cameron Weaver. Put that on a death certificate for California, can you? Because I intend to go out with a blaze of coughing and glorious behavior, grasping and dying for that last breath of life while the bug ravages my body. And I will continue in defiance, in defiance to the bug and to the people saying, I am a Trumpster. I know what the hell I'm doing. Do ah! you think that's over the top? I think it's over the top. Because basically they won't go through the overacting. They'll just go on the ventilator. And if they're strong enough, they may get off the damn thing and go for therapy enough to breathe. And then be open season for another round two or three or for something else hitting them. Because they're already compromised. But if they're lucky enough... They get to be signed up with a death certificate. Now, you think this mad ranting and raving is done yet? Has people actually learned and understand what the hell's going on? I have to talk to them in plain language, plain speak. You guys are trying to be as formal as possible sometimes and trying to keep it a little loose. But they look at you guys as the enemy. You guys are the enemy. You're the fake media at this point over here. Why should any Trumpster listen to you at this point over here? Why should any GOP listen to you at this point over here? Are you guys actually making any sense? Because the other network, yeesh, looks, is staring you guys apart left and right, while the other sister networks left and right, to you guys, are saying we're, we're corroborating everything you're saying. But we're all considered fake media. Here's another thing i got to worry about. Shall I show you? Shall I show you? The only thing in my life right now that means a damn... This is a little girl, 16 or 17 year old, to wiener. She's been with me for a hell of a long while. And if I don't take care of her, she's gonna be taking care of things over here. So gentlemen, I bid you, well, good health baby, if you're lucky. <laughs>